I am fortunate to have grown up in a musical family. I have performed a variety of musical genres, jazz, chamber ensembles, musical theater, open mic nights, you name it, I did it. I continued my music education into college and earned a bachelor's degree in music literature. So how did I become a classroom teacher and not a music teacher? I was called to teach music for several after-school programs in East Los Angeles elementary schools. These students did not have regular music class, and 100% of them qualified for free or reduced lunches. I led my students to appreciate the music of different cultures and taught them how to read music and play both the guitar and the drums. Though it was not part of my duty as an after-school teacher, I organized a winter concert for families and friends to attend. The audience cheered, and I could tell the students were proud of their performance. Then, one day in March 2009, I got a call that the classes I was teaching in East LA would be canceled due to budget cuts, subject immediately. I was transferred to be a teacher in another school as of the next day. I was stunned. We were mid-semester, mid-unit. My chance to send them off with parting words or a hug had been stripped away. It was then that I realized my love, my passion, was not about the music content. I loved the students. And so my journey toward classroom teaching began. I decided that the best way to make lasting impressions with students would be to see them five days a week, six hours a day. An elementary teacher, and I cannot wait. My passion for music is not gone. No, my music background now is an instructional tool. I use music for classroom management, Music is integrated with other content areas and assessments, and music is a community building exercise. When I was taken away from my music class in East LA, a friend of mine assured me that if I smiled at them each day, listened to their stories, and made them feel valued, it didn't matter that I didn't have a chance to say goodbye. I had made a difference. The students knew, they, are my passion. And now, I make it a priority to always encourage my students to give them a smile and to listen to their stories about what matters to them. Because before you know it, the day will come when all you have is to trust and be confident that you did your best every day to inspire them, to empower them, and to challenge them to discover their passions just like I did. How lucky am I to have such a powerful profession.